Will this make my Jeep Gladiator look like a dairy cow? Well, I hope not, but I'm gonna try it. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? today pretty good here that's right i've got a mod that i'm gonna do that i'm concerned will make my jeep gladiator look like a dairy cow now that's if i get it wrong you know that's my biggest concern about doing this mod and what i'm talking about is uh we'll call it the camo mod right i'm gonna get some material and i'm gonna cut out some shapes and stuff and I'm gonna put them all over my Jeep Gladiator, right? Uh, in an effort to end up with a, a camo type look. That's my goal. But my biggest fear is that I'll do this. Well, actually I have a few. Uh, but, but the biggest one is, is that I'll do this and the finished product will come out looking like some kind of weird looking dairy cow or something, you know, with little different colored spots and stuff on it. I'm not looking to be a representative for the dairy market, although there's nothing wrong with that. Milk is a good thing. But I've seen uh, some folks that have done this and I've been kicking around different colors and things. I put out a video not long ago kind of introducing this a little bit. And uh, what I've decided to go with is a black and kind of a, a silver i know it's kind of chromish right more like, let's call it gray it's not really silver they call it i think aluminum gray or something like that but it really comes out to be more of a a, a gray kind of pewterish color if you will so that's kind of the the theme that i'm going to use and you don't really buy it pre-cut or anything you buy rolls of what is either i guess it'd be like a car wrap and then you freehand cut out the different shapes, patterns, things that you want. And then of course you go around and, and stick them all over the, the Jeep. Now, I said there's a, a few fears I have in doing this. The second, I guess, would be that I'll have a bunch of bubbles and stuff, you know. It was difficult enough. I did a mod on the Tacoma where I wrapped the Tacoma emblem on the front of the grill. And I had some bubble problems there, right? Now, that was a, a more domed or curved surface, so I kind of attribute it to that. That was my first foray into wrapping anything. But I think doing this with the Jeep, the surfaces are more flat. There's nothing that's domed so much like that, right? And I can pick and choose where I wanna put these, these shapes. So I can avoid areas, potentially, that are, that are domed. I don't have to worry so much about that. The third thing is, is how will it wear? I mean, once you put it on, obviously you're gonna have a, a kind of a plastic or vinyl, I guess, material on top of the Jeep. And down here in South Texas, there's a lot of sun. And I just wonder how quickly that material will degrade. I mean, I'm not looking to put this on and then rip it off three days later, you know? I want it to last for a while. And I, of course, I want it to look good. The next thing is, how will it sit on the, on the surface of the Jeep? I mean, I don't wanna look down the Jeep, per se, and see big ridges, I guess, of material. You know, like if you lay something on top, obviously there's gonna be a, a surface that's going to go higher uh, that is that material, if that makes any sense. I don't want it to look like a bunch of lumps of stuff all over the Jeep, right? Now, I think this material is thin enough that that's probably not gonna be an issue, but it's a concern. What about dust and dirt? You know, one of the big reasons I've never been a big fan of clear bras on the front of vehicles is because of the seams, right? Somewhere you're going to have a, a seam, an edge, if you will. And I've seen them before where those edges collect dirt. You know, dirt piles up, if you will, against that edge and you can see it. And that might be of uh, particular concern on a white Jeep Gladiator, like what I have, of course. I don't want to have little ridges of dirt all over the place that show because I'm not a big fan 
of washing vehicles. That's right, I said washing vehicles. So I don't wanna have to wash it more often because I've created surfaces all over the place or edges all over the place where dirt is gonna pile up. Lastly, I think is, is the finish. You know, am I gonna damage the finish on the truck? I don't think so. I mean, people wrap vehicles all the time, right? And I've never heard of any horror stories where the wrap has caused any kind of a problem. Now, I suppose if you left it on long enough and, and the sun, the UV rays, couldn't penetrate the material, then it's possible that the paint could fade as it naturally does or would, uh, but not in the area where that wrap is. So potentially, and I would think this would take a long time, much longer than I probably would have the material on the truck. But over time, uh, you could have shadowing, I would think. Maybe not so much with white though. You know, I would think that might be a bigger problem with other more vibrant colors, right? Where you might have some fading and you might actually be able to see some shadowing where the sun wasn't able to penetrate the wrap and, uh, and dull the finish evenly across the truck. I think that's probably a, a pretty minor concern, uh, but still a, a bit of a concern anyway. And then there is one more thing, and that is the dreaded waxing. You know, as much as I hate to wash the vehicles, I do it and I wax them about, you know, two or three times a year. And I just wonder if in putting this stuff on, if that's going to create issue with waxing. I don't think so. I mean, the edge again is not so severe uh, that I think it's going to create any kind of a problem, but it is a concern nonetheless. Of course, the benefit is that maybe uh, the wax would actually protect the, wrap, the wrap or vinyl wrap material and make it last even longer. You know, UV protection and whatnot. So those are a few concerns that I have. Honestly, the bubble thing is probably the biggest, uh, right below, I suppose, uh, the dairy cow look. I'm definitely not looking to have a, a dairy cow looking Jeep Gladiator, right? So anyway, that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the stuff on order. I know what to order and uh, I know the materials I need. Cost to do it should be somewhere under 200 bucks. So while it's not cheap, um, it's not gonna cost me a fortune to get my, my feet wet, I guess, in the world of wrapping. Because ultimately, it'd be cool to wrap the whole Jeep some other color or some other pattern or something. I think that would be really neat to do. but. My skill level is not quite there. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I nuts? Am I gonna end up with a dairy cow Jeep Gladiator? I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have an additional channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Check it out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.